hashes. The three main data types in Perl are scalar variables, arrays and hashes. Scalar variables contain a single value. This value may be a number, a string or a reference to another piece of data. A scalar is said to be undefined if it contains no value at all. If it declared a variable but have not assigned a value yet, then it has a value called undef which is similar to null. We can check if a variable is undef or not using the defined function. Here scalar_def.pl is a Perl program to illustrate the scalar variables. Use strict use warnings and a variable name is declared as my dollar name. If defined dollar name print defined else print not defined. Now it is initialized with a string dollar name equal to high. If defined dollar name print undefined else print not defined print dollar name. The output generated will be as in the figure. Arrays are variables to store an ordered list of scalar values. Array variables are preceded by an at the rate sign. In the previous sections, we have completed some programs using arrays. A hash provides very fast lookup of the value associated with a key. The name hash comes from hash function. It is set of key or value pairs. Hash variables are preceded by a percentage sign. A single element of a hash is referred with the hash variable name preceded by a dollar sign and followed by the key associated with the value in curly braces. For example, the code given here is percentage ages equal to John 45 Mary 30 comma 40. Print dollar ages of John equal to dollar ages of John and print dollar ages of Mary equal to dollar ages of Mary print dollar ages of Kumar equal to dollar ages of Kumar produces the following output dollar ages of John equal to 45 dollar ages of Mary equal to 30 and dollar ages of Kumar equal to 40. Here we define a hash named ages and initialized with the key value pair where John, Mary and Kuma are keys and 45, 30 and 40 are the respective values. In the next three statements, we are printing the values of ages by specifying their keys within curly braces. The hash within key in curly braces will retrieve the corresponding value. A hash lookup and an array element can be differentiated by the braces they use. Array use square brackets while hashes use curly braces. Assigning value to a key is a simple statement like ages of John equal to 45 and dollar meaning of obey equal to do as said. Here John and obey are keys and the values are assigned at the right side of the equal to sign. And initializing a hash with some key value pair is similar to initializing arrays. Percentage category equal to within chords elephant, mammal, robin, bird, bee, insect. This statement initializes the key elephant with the value mammal, robin with bird and so on. This can also be accomplished in another way which is more clearly understood. Percentage category equal to elephant which directs to mammal, robin directs to bird and ASP directs to reptile. Another variant is also there in which the keys are preceded by a hyphen and no quotations is required around them. That is percentage ages equal to hyphen John implies to 45, hyphen Mary implies to 30 and hyphen Kuma equal to 40. When accessing individual elements from a hash, a dollar sign is to be prefixed with the variable and append the element key within curly brackets after the name of the variable. An array of all the keys of a hash by using key function as at the rate key names equal to keys percentage hash name. Example, consider the program code given here. Percentage category equal to first implies to 60, second implies to 50 and third implies to 35. At the rate key names equal to keys percentage category. Print dollar key names of 
0. Print key names of 1. Print key names of 2. Here category is a hash with keys first, second and third and their corresponding values 60, 50 and 35. Then using the keys function, the keys are stored into the array key names. Now we can get the names of the keys by printing the array elements by specifying the array indices. Executing this will produce the following output. The order of the keys may change in each execution. Similarly, the values function can be used to get a list of all the values. The syntax is at the rate hash values equal to values percentage category. It returns a normal array of all the values of the named hash. An example code is given here. Percentage category equal to first implies to 60, second implies to 50, third implies to 35. At the rate hash values equal to values percentage category. Print hash values of 0, print hash values of 1, print hash values of 2. Each statement in this program is similar to the previous one, but instead of storing the keys in the array, here values of the hash are stored in the array named hash values. The output generated will be something like this. If we try to access a key or value pair from a hash that does not exist, normally it will result with an undefined value. Of the warnings is turned on, a warning will be generated at runtime. It can be solved using the exist function which returns true if the named key exists irrespective of its value. The size or the number of elements of a hash can be manipulated by using scalar context on either keys or values. Or first get an array of either the keys or values and then get the size of the array. For example, percentage ages equal to John to 45. Mary to 30 and Kumar to 40. At the rate keys equal to keys percentage ages. Dollar size equal to at the rate keys. Print hash size is dollar size. At the rate values equal to values percentage ages. Dollar size equal to at the rate values. Print hash size is dollar size. The output will be as hash size is 3, hash size is 3. In the first case, the size is computed from the array generated by the keys function and in the second case, it is from the values function. Hashes can be used in various situations, particularly when the data is in the form of key value or when a fast lookup to the value of a key is necessary. As we said earlier, DNA encodes the primary structure that is the amino acid sequence of proteins. DNA has 4 nucleotides and proteins have 20 amino acids. The encoding works by taking each group of 3 nucleotides from the DNA and translating them to an amino acid or a stop signal. Each group of 3 nucleotides is called a codon. In the context of genetic code, hashes are used to retrieve information about the gene. The gene name is the key and the information about the gene is the value of that key. Rather, hash for the translation from codon to amino acid will give a natural way to proceed because for each codon key, the amino acid value is returned. There are various applications on biometric hash are being developed. A popular one is in the biometric crypto systems in which Biometric data are used for authentication, for example, in online signature. 